7 News is learning where DC's 911 center stands with staffing and it's raising eyebrows. Good evening to you. I'm Scott Thuman. The I team has been tracking issues with the embattled Office of Unified Communication for years and recently the staffing crisis was revealed after we reported its director was offering employees $800 bonuses just to show up for their shifts. Our DC reporter Felicia Ashley is live in Northwest tonight and Felicia the agency still came up short. That's right. We finally, though, got the numbers we have been requesting in regards to August staffing. And as he mentioned, it shows that 29 shifts were still understaffed. Just over a week after this OUC mishap. Yeah, the systems are down. OUC director Heather McGaffin sent this email. In August, she offered an $800 bonus for employees who showed up to their scheduled shifts. I think the situation with OUC is very serious. It is the gateway, if you will, to uh, first response, to emergency response, and it needs to be acting, um, uh, I want to say flawlessly. 7 News spoke to Chairman Phil Mendelson this week about the OUC crisis. And after the bonus offer, throughout August, we've also requested updated staffing from OUC. That information is supposed to be made public by law monthly. It was posted this week, later than past months. I think that there needs to be more oversight and uh, possibly some changes to the law regarding the Office of Unified Communications. Today, the OUC performance dashboard shows that during the same month as the bonus offer, it still did not reach its target for staffing. 29 shifts did not hit its goal. I spoke with Mayor Muriel Bowser after her housing panel in D.C. today. She told 7 News she's focused on getting people hired at OUC. We have thousands of people signed up for our public safety job fair. Uh, D.C. is hiring and we're looking for great people who want to help us keep D.C. safe. 7 News asked OUC how many people it gave the $800 bonus to. It said it does not have that number. And we'll be asking them more questions on Friday when we meet with OUC leaders to ask them what changes have they made since we reported on this crisis a month ago, as well as that bonus. We'll bring you those details, of course, on Friday. But for now, reporting live from the Wilson Building, Felicia Ashley, 7 News. Felicia, thank you. DC's 911 office staffing is something that 7 News has been looking into for a while now and examining pretty closely since a pair of outages back in August led to delayed response times. Last year, the D.C. Council passed a law requiring the center to launch a transparency dashboard that is updated monthly. Now, the data for August was just updated today. We've been checking this every day this month, even asking for the information which OUC would not share until today's update online. This is data that previously was posted much faster, by the way. In August, 29 of the 66 shifts failed to meet staffing targets. That's despite those $800 bonuses that Felicia reported on. And compared to July, that's an improvement. Looking at the percentages, this may tell the story a little bit better. In July, OUC failed to meet staffing targets 88% of the time. When you look at the entire summer, June, July, August, the 911 office was properly staffed less than half the time. Again, we are expecting an update on the staffing crisis that's going to take place Friday. We will keep pushing for more answers. Tom, we've got a new update.